This idyllic place is our world. It has every appearance of paradise. From the white sand beaches to the mighty treetops, it appears still and peaceful. But if you look closer, there is more to this than meets the eye. Every living being is locked in a deadly competition. Ahead lurks the land of great danger for some and opportunities for others. But our world has changed. To survive, we too must change. Will you have what it takes to survive? Away. What's going on, everybody, and welcome to a brand new game. This is not going to be released until, I believe, 2020 August. And I was given early access to it to be able to give it a try, and it, uh, it looks phenomenal. And, yeah, we're just going to check it out. It's kind of like a blind playthrough. Uh, what this is really trying to showcase is the gliding mechanic that they have. You're going to play as that little, uh... Dang it. There's no telling what challenges lie ahead for this youngster. He'll need every ounce of strength he can muster if he's going to meet those challenges head on. Oh, am I supposed to go over here? Okay. Oh, I hit the wall. And I'm dead. I wasn't... Oh, I wasn't focusing. Yeah, so it's meant to uh, sh press A or a space bar to glide. Can you, um... Okay, it's a little bit difficult. Oh, wow. Oof. Okay. I might have to change my settings a little bit because it's a little sensitive and I'm not exactly sure. See, like if you pull down, you'll go up. Alright. Oh, oh, watch out for that. Ah, oh, crap. Oh. God damn. I was trying to go over it, and then it's like, no, no, you can't, you can't, you can't. Okay. Okay, I'm getting used to the buttons here. Oh. I don't want to go underneath it. The water's too close. Boing. Okay, the mouse doesn't do anything. And I thought it was, so... Nope. Oh. There we go. Oh, crap. This is going to be a difficult game, that's for sure. Okay. See if we can do this. I'm gonna go under here this time. Watch out for the tree. Ah, oh, crap. Oh no. Okay. Doing better. Cave Explorer Achievement. Seems like a lot of work just to get a stupid dragonfly. I'm catching up to you, buddy. I'm going to get you. 
Ah, oh, damn. Whoa. Uh oh. Uh oh. I passed him. There he is. Master Hunter. Woohoo! Wow, that was uh, a lot more challenging than I thought it would be. Catch the dragonfly number two. Damn it, we gotta do it again? Alright. So I think we just have to fly into him. Well, what was that? Oh, crap. Face first right into a rock. <laughs> The mechanic is really cool, though. Like, takes a little bit to get used to. Whoa. There it is. Whoa. Oh, watch out. Oh. What if I could fly over top? No. I was thinking maybe I could fly over that rock, but... There's like a deer or something there. Ah, oh, come on. Okay, let's do this, Chills. The detail is really cool on it. I gotta give him that much. Oh, come on, man. It's like those um, car racing games where you have um, the ghost vehicle you have to chase. Okay. We can do this. Nope, we can't. <laughs> hey, I got the bonus. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, man. Come on, 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 come on. I want to get this one done at least. I mean, ten minutes into the freaking episode and all I've done is one, one dragonfly. At this rate, I'm going to die of starvation. Whoa. Nope. That's a really tight fit, man. That's what she said. Let's go. Trying to be low so I can dip into that stupid little gully thing or whatever it is. Okay, you know what? I'm going to cut until I um, get past this point. So I'll see you guys in a second. All right, everybody. I've switched over to a controller. And I seem to have a little bit better control. Ah, oh, come on. Are you kidding me? Uh, the one thing I don't like is that there's no checkpoint. Like, I always start back at the beginning. I'm uh, about eight minutes later from the original uh, cut point. And, um, yeah, like, you just keep starting back from the beginning no matter how far you get. 
and um, sometimes I have pretty good control of the camera sometimes gets a little wonky but for the most part like there see like that really weird how that just kind of goes all weird like that um, like he loses total control and I get it it's, it's sort of realistic where you're like you're not gonna be able to immediately turn left or right but like you hit that tree with the camera not you but the camera and it makes it go all weird but um, you do have better control with the controllers so I, I do like that this part gets to be a little challenging here yep because you got to go under that little tiny bridge and so it is uh it is quite challenging so far I wonder if um can I do here how how I change how I change let me change yeah it won't let me do anything so it's just going to be super sensitive all the way around. Yeah, I can't change it. Yeah, it gives me no adjustment. I'm hitting all the different buttons and... Yeah, nothing. Okay, well, we'll just deal with it, I guess. We'll see how far we can get and um, hopefully we'll be able to complete this. I don't want to sit here and spend hours trying to complete one little thing, so... Now, oh, that didn't work so well. Okay, I'll tell you what. I'm going to cut again until I get a little further or I catch this uh, little dragonfly. I'll see you guys in a second. All right, everybody. We're here. And... I'm... Way ahead of the dragonfly. That's... Kind of not what I want to do, but... All right, it worked. Whatever, I did something. So we completed it. Takes a little bit. I also unlocked the glowing, um, uh, glowing glider. So it seems like we're just going to be chasing after. I hope this isn't the only thing. Right now, yeah. But at the beginning, when the intro was playing, it looked like there was going to be more to it than just um, catching a dragonfly, but I think that's what this is, is meant to showcase the gliding rather than the actual gameplay. So, oh crap. So I think that's really all we're gonna get is what this is here. So you're gonna have to try to catch the dragonfly a number of times. Um, so we'll try it for a couple more, uh, a couple more minutes and we'll see. Cause again, this game's not being released until like August of 2020. So they've got like another year worth of work before they release the actual game. And um, yeah, I think this is just to kind of go, hey, look at how awesome our game is. Please come support us. Oh, that's a tiny fit. Holy smokes. Yeah, so I think it's just to kind of showcase the um, the movement, the, uh, the background, you know, the gliding mechanism is the main focal point, obviously. So I think that's what they're really trying to show. I don't think we're gonna be getting into any actual gameplay where we saw like you can fight uh, different insects or animals or ride on their backs and all that kind of stuff. So Ooh, we made it. Oh crap, oh crap, oh crap. <laughs> oh goodness yeah it sure did escape my face escaped the brick wall or the rock face what if I can go like no it sort of keeps you on a certain path so you can't veer off and go out into the bush or anything like that whoa 
man, face first right into the grass. But I do like the gameplay, and I'm more so excited about like the story mode and the um, the fighting mechanics and that kind of stuff, because that looks really interesting. Um, how like you're sort of like the middle bottom of the food chain type of deal, and you have to defend yourself against predators, and you still got to get your food and that kind of deal. So that I like. And it seemed like it was going to be pretty interesting, to be honest with you. Um, so I'm pretty psyched about that. Oh, crap. What the hell would you put a rock there for? <laughs> yeah, so I'm really intrigued by that. You guys let me know in the comments below what you think of the gameplay and uh, the glide mechanics and the game in itself. Like, do you think the intro, if that's what the game is like, or is that something you would all be interested in? And if it is, then maybe I'll get an early access copy where we can start doing um, a little more in the game. I'd love to, to not necessarily beta test, but, you know, be someone who gets a little bit more of an early access to it to, to be able to play something good, you know what I mean? So this is going to be it for this episode, guys. It's only going to be a one and done right now because I believe this is all we're going to be doing is like the sort of racetrack type of deal. And uh, if you do want to see another one, let me know. And then maybe I'll release one more in a couple of weeks or something like that. But for right now, this is going to do it. So thank you very much for all the love and support. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, you already know what to do. And I will see you all next time. Take care.